In this week's video, we'll be taking a look at the Raju for strengths, weaknesses, evidence, etc. I'll be highlighting all the important information needed to help you become a better investigator in phasmophobia. For the strength, a Raiju can siphon power from nearby electrical devices, making it move faster. We'll talk about this a little bit later, so don't worry. For the weakness, Raijus are constantly disrupting electronic equipment when attacking, therefore making it easier to track them. This is a great way of knowing that you're dealing with a Raiju when doing no evidence runs, so something to remember. For evidence, in order to successfully identify a Raiju, you will need the following pieces of evidence during amateur, intermediate, and professional. You'll need EMF5, dots, and ghost orbs. For nightmare and insanity, there is no preferred force evidence for the Raiju, so it could give you either of these three. For the hunting range, the Raiju will normally hunt at an average of 50% sanity, but this increases to 65% when there is at least one active electronic piece of equipment nearby. And lastly, for the hunting speed. The Raiju's hunting speed is determined by the presence of an active electronic piece of equipment. If there is at least one active piece of electronic equipment around, its speed will drastically increase. With no electronic equipment around, it will resort to the normal hunting speed of 1.7 meters per second. And with electronic equipment present, it will hunt at 2.5 meters per second. This, however, excludes head-mounted cameras, radios, TVs, or lights from the location itself. The range with regards to the map size also affects its ability. So for small maps, the ghost needs to be within six meters of any powered equipment, eight meters on medium maps, and 10 meters on large maps. Also when hunting, electronics will malfunction at 15 meters for the Raju as opposed to 10 meters for every other ghost. I hope this has helped you with how the Raju works. They are indeed the electronic demons in Phasmophobia, so please be super careful. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you soon.